The ABC can tonight reveal internal Perth Mint documents show the state-owned organisation may have committed thousands of technical breaches of US state commodities laws over the past 25 years. The Mint admitted last year that it had identified issues of non-compliance which it had self-reported to US regulators. But the potential scale of its transgressions hasn't been made public. In the complex world of precious metals, those who own it sometimes never actually see it. It's kept the Perth Mint's vault full and also potentially in breach of US anti-fraud laws. It boils down to what's known as the Model State Commodity Code. After a series of scams in the 70s, 23 US states adopted the code to ensure any gold purchased was physically delivered to customers within a month. Internal documents seen by the ABC show that in May last year, the organisation received legal advice that it wasn't compliant because it held gold on behalf of customers in its own vault. The advice warned about 1,500 current accounts were potentially non-compliant and the Mint could face penalties for non-compliance over the last 25 years. I think it's a reflection of the lack of sophisticated risk management within Perth Mint. Perth Mint reported the potential breaches to US regulators, but the document prepared by the Mint recommended it continue to deal with all US customers, fearing significant challenges in closing the affected accounts. The Perth Mint says it's confident no US customers have been harmed by this oversight and it's working with regulators to address the issues. It says it's also taken steps to limit the opening of new non-compliant accounts. The minister responsible, who was told of the potential breach in June, told Parliament last year it was a legacy compliance issue and he expected the business to become compliant in a very short time. He said US regulators have only handed down penalties for such breaches when actual fraud was involved and the Mint wasn't committing fraud. The fact that there is no fraud here uh, probably means that, you know, it's quite likely that there won't be uh, uh, a penalty um, uh, for our legacy non-compliance. The Perth Mint has suffered a major hit to its reputation following a Four Corners investigation which highlighted concerns around money laundering defences and issues with gold bars sold to China. James Carmody, ABC News.